Hi and welcome to the video. Um, a couple of things that need to be done before we can start uh, playing with the Jetty settings for Ditex telemetry. Mm -hmm. Firstly, uh, the Rex 12 receiver. Um, that needs to be upgraded to the latest version. Um, video is uh, April 2018. And then the uh, Ditex servos themselves, they need upgrading uh, using Ditex manager software. Uh, and they need to be set to telemetry type 2 in order to work with Jetty. Uh, in terms of the transmitter, that's also got to be upgraded to version 4.27. So it's the DC24. Uh, we're going to be doing the demo on today. And we're going to be looking at telemetry from each of the four servos. Uh, and I'm going to be displaying the angle of the servo. There's no reason why. Uh, you can't program it to show um, a host of other parameters that are coming from these excellent servos. Um, so I've got a DC24 which has got the again the latest firmware as of um, April which I think is 4.27 uh, for supporting Ditex servos and as we can see if I uh, move some of the sticks around we're getting um, movement on the servers. They've got a beautiful sound I don't know if you can hear but it's it is so smooth and so precise. Okay, so going on to the settings, um, first of all, if we look at that display there, that's uh, um, one of the first uh, telemetry screens and it's showing the angle of all four um, servos. So top left is throttle. If I bring that back down to zero, you'll see the angles changing. So how do we set that up? So the first thing we have to do is go to um, Device Explorer and uh, you'll find this is detailed in uh, Jetty's um, uh, document online telling you how to get the Ditex servo telemetry working. We go into the Rex 12 entry in Device Explorer um, and you'll see that under alternative pin configurations we've basically set up uh, pins 1 to 4 on the, on the Rex servo as using the Ditex protocol. And remember, you've got to set each Ditex servo to type 2 telemetry, first of all, to get this working. So once that's all done, then uh, we know that the data coming out the servos is, is being understood by the Jetty system. So now we need to um, declare that we're interested in using telemetry coming out of the servos. So we need to go into timers and sensors and then servo telemetry. And you'll see there that pins one, two, four are expecting to get a value of angle. Just remember that um, what's really impressive about this telemetry is how comprehensive it is. So, for instance, uh, I could uh, change that to um, uh, instead of reading angle, reading any number of these other parameters, I'll run through them. There's impulse, there's angle, torque, voltage, temp, velocity, current, max temp, max current minimum voltage. That's a pretty comprehensive set. So servo uh, pinout one is uh, currently configured uh, to read out torque. We can go and change that um, to any number, number of these values. I'm going to stick it back to uh, angle. Come out of there and then if we go uh, back to the um, displays that we set up using um, the telemetry display settings then you can see each of the servos um, uh, angles. So we play around with the sticks, you just see some servos move, you'll see the angles changing and there to um, 0.1 or a tenth of a degree plus or minus. So I think this is absolutely brilliant um, for aircraft which are dear to us and we want to be absolutely sure are uh, flying safely. Um, uh, there's things like um, total time identified not in the actual logs, but certainly in the Ditex manager. So again, we can get an idea of service life for each of the servos um, and swap them out based on uh, uh, hours count. So I think this is a, a brilliant uh, facility and I think Hacker and Jetty have done really well here.